What's up everyone? This is the third video and today for this particular video I decided to do a uh, chameleon. So I found this uh, really good reference on this like teal, uh, blue and orange chameleon. It was really 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 beautiful and of course typically when I choose a reference sometimes I'll have one main reference, sometimes I'll have like multiple references. But for this particular one, I just had one reference, and I knew I didn't want to have it obviously exactly like the reference. I wanted it slightly different, so I wound up adding a tree branch into it, which you'll see uh, towards like the middle to end of the video. But I started off, of course, just mixing the colors and kind of getting exactly what I wanted, and I knew for this particular piece that I was going to have to layer a lot. So that was actually something I really enjoyed. Because I feel like once you add a layer and it dries and you build upon that, you just kind of see it really, really come like together. And I actually, for the first time, utilized the blow dryer and I had it on the cool setting and I just like dried it. And then I went back again with like um, different colors and layered that way. Like I saw the technique used before and I was like, hmm, it's interesting. I never thought about using a blow dryer to uh, quickly dry your pieces. And I know specifically, obviously, with watercolor, you're using a lot of water sometimes. So because of, like, time's sake, you want to speed up the process. So the blow dryer definitely helps. But, yeah, this piece took around an hour and 30 minutes to do. Of course, I took a break in between that. So it was more than an hour and 30 minutes. But if you cut the break out from um, the painting time, it was just an hour and 30 minutes. And it's, um, like my previous videos, it's sped up, so it's not in real time. But, um, on the right side, of course, like I always do, you see me swatching repeatedly through this video, just trying to see what the colors look like on paper. So I can see if, um, I like the way it looks, because sometimes the color will look completely different on paper than it will on my, um, my palette. So it's always good to, like, you know, swatch everything out, just so you can see how it ends up and also how it dries. And I think I really enjoyed doing this just because it was so colorful and I've never done anything like this. So as soon as like I started and once I got to like the middle part of it, I knew I wanted to do another one. So I definitely plan on uh, doing maybe like a part two or just maybe like a whole little short series of either reptiles or chameleons or something like that. Because I know that'll be really fun and interesting and something different to do.
everybody we're almost towards the end of the video and um, I decided to throw in a little cool like um, panning of the final piece I've been trying to decide whether or not I want to go back in and do some more layering and try to really like amp up like that look and like texture of the skin but I don't know I think I might just kind of leave this piece alone and then with my next chameleon piece I'll go in and try some different techniques because I've been watching videos and seeing um, different ways to blend and make it look really like textured and like kind of like rough. So you'll see that towards the end. And as always, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.